So for some reason, I have always wanted to learn how to whittle a spoon. I don't know if it's because I was a Girl Scout as um, a child or what it is, but um, it could be that I'm actually going to summer camp this summer to work as a camp nurse um, and I'll bring my daughters with me. And they do a camp craft where they learn these sorts of things and how to carve spoons and start fires and cook over open fires. And so maybe I wanna come with my own spoon to the open fire cooking. I don't know. But for some reason, I have been obsessed with the idea of learning to whittle a spoon. So I have watched all the videos on YouTube and today everyone is out skiing. It's just me home alone by myself. I have endless hours. They won't be home until about 10 p.m. And so I am going to try this out now. I hope that I have all the safety precautions down. If I don't, please kindly tell me. I would love to hear how I can do this better, um, but I don't need to you know, get too much criticism because this is my first time. So I'm going to show you what I have. I have this stick and I'm going to whittle this stick into a spoon. My supplies are basically just what I dug out of the basement. This little kit, I don't know. It doesn't look too sturdy, but I'm gonna give it a shot with what I've okay, got. Okay, so, so far so good. I've gone and I've cut this stick in half. Um, not quite evenly in half, but because it's a small stick, um, I didn't want to go too far into the middle and I want to take off this bark around the outside. So that's what Again, I'm going to do next. I have no idea what these pieces are for. Each one is shaped a little different. This looks like it could probably do a good job taking off some bark. So I'll give it a shot. really soft piece of wood. I tried this a while ago on a piece of wood that was not soft at all and I don't know what kind of a tree this came from because I just found it out back. Um, it could be pine maybe? Okay, so now I'm just gonna draw a really simple spoon design on the flat surface of the piece of wood. Again, this is not too big of a piece of wood, so the spoon will not be that big. Hoping to make it something like that. If you can see it, all of this will come out. Make it a little wider at the top or slightly bigger if I can. Okay, so now that carving begins. It's coming along. <laughs> Not sure too many people would look at this and call it a spoon, but it's getting there. You might be able to eat with it.
Okay, so <laughs> a little while later, my space is a mess. I'm going to get out the vacuum cleaner, get out some sandpaper, um, sandpaper the heck out of the spoon, and then I'll show you the end result. Alrighty, so here is my finished spoon, which I wouldn't actually call it a spoon because the end broke off as I was finishing it up, but it does have a scoop, as you can see. Would I eat with this? Hmm, no, but could I eat with it? Yes. Um, <laughs> it was fun to make all the same. This was really soft wood, so it just kind of went along rather quickly, and I could have worked more on it, except that the tip broke off, so I was kind of disappointed, but I'm gonna try again um, another time. It was pretty, it was, kind of fun. So here's the back side. It's funny how knots always remind me, knots and wood always remind me of little faces. Really cute. Anyhow, I am covered in a little bit of sawdust and um, I think I even may have inhaled some. Um, I did not cut myself. So, so was... this project was not 100% successful, but it used up a couple of hours in a creative way um, that I could have been doing other things like laundry or dishes. I'd rather be creative and try my hand at something new. Um, <clears throat> I try to tell my girls all the time and show them actually all the time how awesome it is just to keep learning. I mean, I hope to learn something new every day of my life and I tried to instill that in them as well. So um, yeah, it was enjoyable and I hope to try this project again with a more solid wood next time, something that doesn't splinter as easily and um, hopefully I'll master it eventually, but it kind of got the creative juices flowing. So that's great for a snowy day when there's not much else going on. Anyhow, I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe and I will be back probably again this week with another creative project. Um, take care and enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye.